nothing against rain and storms and stuff like that. In fact, I love rain. Masay actually really, really adores rain. But I kind of just want to hear the Kakariko song, not gonna lie. <laughs> I miss the song, guys. It makes me sad. Anyway, hey guys, Masay Nelly here, and welcome back to episode of Ocarina Time 3D Master Quest. In the last episode, we got ourselves a new bottle by doing the Big Po side quest. And in this episode, we're going to be tackling another side quest. But first, we're heading into the Skulltula house because I had completely forgotten about this. I had absolutely completely forgotten about this and all of the kids are all fine now. Yay! I don't know which one is actually giving me a prize. Uh, do you have something for me? Yes! Okay, so our prize here is a piece of heart! Yay! That's very helpful. Uh, how about you? Uh, nope. I know there's one more. Oh, you! Yay! And bomb shoes. That's... that's... certainly helpful, question mark? <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Thank you, good sir. I, I appreciate your efforts. Uh, okay, so that means everyone is back to normal. Hooray! I like how they're like, everyone is back to normal, except for... Dad. I assume that this is Dad anyway. But uh, anyway, so yes, we have gotten basically everything that's actually useful. I'm not kidding. The useful prizes from the Skulltula house ends at 50, which right now we have like 76. So anything that we get from here on out is pretty much going to be extra. I guess not technically extra, but still, eh, I, I'm not overly interested in whatever else they have to offer, but I will be still showing the rest of the Skulltulas, clearly, but uh, I really wish there were more useful things in that. But anyway, Skulltulas aside, we do have the side quest to tackle. Now, if you guys remember, a long, 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 long time ago, we talked to Andrew, and she gave us a little pocket cocoon to go and wake Talon up with. That was the start of this side quest. What we got from her was Kojiro. 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 I don't know. Whatever. However you want to pronounce it, but I, I like Kojiro. <laughs> so we did get Kojiro, and we are finally going to be actually using him. I won't have a chicken in my pocket any longer. I'm so sad. Hey! I just noticed! He matches my outfit! He really is supposed to be with me. <laughs> anyway, the place that we want to go for go to for this is how do how does this go? No, that's 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 the serenade of water. Oh no it's not. I was right, okay, so yes. We have to play the minuet of forest and head off to the lost woods. Or sacred forest meadow, blah de blah de blah. But yeah, off to the lost woods. And here we are, back in the sacred forest meadow. It's so pretty, I missed you. <laughs> this place is so pretty. Anyway, while we're making our way back to the lost woods, I do want to mention something very briefly. Technically, we could have done this side quest as soon as we became an adult. Yeah, this whole side quest chain is could technically be done super early. And if you do it that way, I'm not going to lie, it is very, very helpful. The reason why I didn't personally do that for this playthrough is because you do have to do some things out of order, technically. And I didn't want to go to areas prematurely or, like, complete certain tasks before we were actually meant to. If you're going story- if you're following the storyline, this probably is the earliest you could do it without spoiling anything. And by the way, Scarecrow spot if you want to skip all of the Moblin nonsense. This technically is the earliest point that you could do it in that sense. So that's why I'm choosing to do it now. And besides that, we had so many freaking side questy things that I didn't want to tack this on on top of that. <laughs> because this is probably the most lenient break of side quests that we've had yet. Even though I've already tackled like quite a bit. But still, onward to our ne next objective now that I went ahead and explained that. Uh, here we go. This dude. I forget what your name is. I remember you had a really funny name though. Uh, hello, good sir. 
No response. We should get his attention. He's he's dead, guys. He's dead. Oh well. But no. Here we go. If we give Kojito to him, Kojito, why? Normally, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means you. You must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy. Please, deliver this to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long. So you gotta hurry. This is timed. This is time. It is a pain. It is a pain. All right, so the location is marked with an arrow. Yes, bloody bloody. But we have three minutes to get over to the potion shop in Kakariko Village. My suggestion for this is to go through the Goron City shortcut and then just head onward from there. Uh, yes, here we go. So yeah, it, it's kind of it's this. A lot of this side quest is very time based. I don't know, it's it's very, it's kind of cool in a sense, but at the same time, it's a pretty huge hassle. It is a pretty huge hassle. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna be going through the best route of how to get to places. Well, maybe it's not the best route. You guys might have something, something better in mind that you could do. By the way, if you try to warp with these time things, then it will spoil. Not kidding. So you cannot play like, the bolero fire and then expect it to not spoil it i don't know apparently you move super slowly and it's just a time lapse or something i have no idea but that's cheating and the game will not let you do that it's unfortunate it's sad and it sucks but that's kind of how things are anyway uh let's see i wish i could just jump down from here that'd be really freaking great but anyway now that we're done with like explaining the general gist of what the rest of this side quest is going to be like Ouch, that hurt. Um, we're probably going to be fast-forwarding a lot of this, because, quite frankly, watching me run back and forth between place to place isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but it is good to see, like, various routes that you can take. And, oh no, Kakariko's Village song thing. I'm so sad right now. I wish I could hear, hear the music. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Uh, how about from up here? Will this work? Hooray! This does work! Yay! Okay, now if I drop down here... Yep, this is the potion shop! There we go. Head on in. And now, talk to this lady. Sniff, sniff, sniff! What a mysterious smell! You must have something! Yes, I do. Here you go. Have it. That fool! He had to go into the forest, I see. Hey, give it to me now! And I guess we just give it to her. And I like how she has a tiger cub as a pet. It's so cute, actually. It's adorable. Oh, uh, if you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this poultice will not work on a monster. That's foreboding. Alright, so we have an odd poultice here. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. Um, they say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Uh, by the way, cute! 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 Not so cute. <laughs> Alright, so this one, oddly, is not timed. This one, you can just warp away back to the Lost Woods. And you'll be good. But we all know where the guy is. So I'm going to go ahead and save you guys the hassle of watching me go back and forth and back and forth. So I will see you guys there. And we're here back in the Lost Woods entrance. And if we turn right here, we'll see that he turned into a girl. Yeah, you certainly got feminine in the past five minutes. <laughs> But no, in all seriousness, we talked to this Kokiri child. That guy isn't here anymore. Except for the Kokiri, people who come into the forest end up lost. They all become Stealthos. That's why he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. Yeah, she's kind of creepy. Creepy little girl. Alright, so uh, let's give this to her. That guy isn't here. No, he doesn't have blah, 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 I know. Uh, whatever. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back! Sure thing. Thank you for giving me his saw in return. Not a bad trade, I suppose. <laughs> Are you going to become one too? <laughs> Alright, that's... That's cool. Yeah. Coolio. Not gonna complain about that one bit. Anyway... 
the place that we need to go for this one is, if we take a look at the map, this is Gerudo Valley. We haven't been there since I made fun of the Gerudo by wearing the mask. And then I'm, I was like, yeah, hey, look at me. I can look like a girl too, you know? So we're going to go ahead and hop on a pony and make our way there. And we have arrived at Gerudo Valley. Yeah, that was totally necessary to say. Thanks for that. Now, as we ride up here, we have been here briefly before as a child, but we'll notice that the bridge is out. There are two ways that you can get across here. You can either hook shot slash long shot over to those wooden posts, or you can do this the actually cool way and get a running start. Yeah, you guys see where this is going. You guys see where this is going. And jump across. Yeah, you go, Epona. You got this, girl. You got this. <laughs> anyway, so, hello, good sir. You used to be in Kakariko Village. What's up in your tiger pants? I am a master craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix up all my work. Oh, that's, that's for later. That's for later. But foreshadowing, I suppose. All right, cool. Here you go. You want this? Hey, that's so! It's mine! But I thought I'd left, it, left that with my old lady. That old hag in the potion shop is your mother? Question mark? Okie doke. My big Goron tool broke, so I was going to, go, going to Goron City to get it repaired. You're coming here. It's great timing. Will you give me my saw? Good kid. Thanks. I'm sorry I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway. So for his perfectly working saw, we get a broken Goron sword. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we have seen Big Goron before. Uh, what do you want, Navi? Uh, the... Yes, later. Not now. But yes, um, we need to go to... Um, trying to remember how this song goes. No. There we go. The easiest way to reach Big Oron is to by just is by just playing the Bolero Fire and then heading out from there. Uh, I probably should have just flipped on the the Goron tunic, but I am lazy and I think I can get out of here in time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh yuppity yup, yuppity yup, yuppity yup. Actually I can I can just do this. I can do this. I can do this. Watch me. Watch me trick this out. Yeah! And we're right by the exit already. Hooray for shortcuts! <laughs> Alright, so... Out here we go. And now, hey man, it's been a while, hasn't it? You gigantic Goron, that looks painful to for your mother. I'm so sorry, Goron mother. Uh, okay, your eyes look absolutely terrible. What's up? My brother opened a new store. It's Medigoron's Blade Store. Yes. Uh, whatever. Here you go. Look at this. That broken knife is surely my work. I want to help repair it, but... But because of my of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You'll find them if you go go to see King Zora. Uh, okay, sure thing. Thank you, good sir. Go see King Zora. And now this is where it starts to suck. That the I feel so bad for him. Really, this is where it starts to suck. That Zora's domain is frozen over. We cannot warp to to um, Lake Hylia and reach it from there. Unfortunately, it sucks and I hate it. So the way I like to go about this is by going to the Lost Woods and taking the the um, shortcut there to the river. So I will see you guys there. And here we are. If you somehow have forgotten where the shortcut is, it is a left. And then a right, and then a left. Okay, I blanked out for a second. I was like, "Oh, hey, Mito, hey, what you gotta say to your senpai, huh? What you gotta say to your senpai?" Okay, <laughs> I'm done. I am done. The say is done making fun of him. All right, so we need to dive down here, 
go through this little hole at the bottom and we'll end up right over here by Sora's Domain. It's actually not too bad of a shortcut. I mean, it, it's okay, but I would much rather, much, much, much rather be able to take the shortcut over at Lake Hylia. Anyway, let's go ahead and play this. Time to play this old song for the billionth time. Yay! My Ocarina skills! Hooray! Alright, so hop on in and then... It's time to go and see King Zora! And this is what I meant by we had to complete certain things in order to do this quest a lot sooner. Technically, you can free the King Zora at any time. But from a story perspective, we really had no reason to come here until we reached the third temple. So, yeah, he would still be frozen in red ice if we came here first thing as an adult. And we would have to go through like half of the ice cavern and it just would have been a huge hassle. Anyway, let's go ahead and show him this. Ooh, this. Well, hmm, hmm, eye drops. You might say we have them, you might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. You can take the ingredients to the doctor at the lakeside laboratory. He can make the drops for you, but you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? You received the prescription. Wait, you used the prescription and received an eyeball frog. Ah, it's an interesting item. I'll say that much at least. But yes, we have three minutes to make it there, which sucks. This sucks. Okay, so uh, yeah, we don't, we cannot warp as per usual. We cannot deal with our shortcut down there to put us anywhere even near close to that. We actually have to leg it all the way there. I can't even suggest an easier way to do this. So we're gonna just make our way over there and Hopefully, hopefully this timer doesn't, like, freaking screw me over because this one can be a little bit finicky. So, are you guys ready? Let's go! terrible. It's not a terrible ride, it's just a hassle. It's just a hassle. Uh, yes. No, 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 I didn't want to speak to you like that. Here, take my frog. That sounds weird. Oh, wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this in Zora's domain. Froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Hoi, 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 hoi. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora, eh? What? These are from making big orange eye drops? Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in that first place. <laughs> I like how he just freezes and he's just like so disappointed that he won't get to eat his eyeballs. Uh, eat his eyeballs. Ew. Eating your own eyeballs. That sounds gross. Alright, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young, you can do it. <sighs> big sigh. Big sigh. This makes me sad. Alright, so, yes, we have to do this once again the old fashioned way because we can't warp anywhere. So, onward to Kakariko Village and then up to Death Mountain. We thankfully have four minutes to do this one, so we should be okay on time. So, let's go ahead and do that.
once again with like 45, 46 seconds to spare. Yay, we did it. Hey, man. Hey, man, what's up? You look, you look kind of miserable. How about this? Take it. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. And now the most epic eye drops in the world. Wow! This is stimulating! It's working great! Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent, so I'll give this to you so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait. Just wait patiently. So we have now a claim check for our Bigoron Sword. Hooray! You have to wait, like, three days and three nights for it to actually be completed. So, to be a cheap, impatient person, we can play the Sun Song six times. Okay, is it ready now? Is it ready now? Your sword is my finest work. Hooray! So we handed in the claim check and we got the Big Oron Sword! This is actually pretty amazing. I don't know how much I'm personally going to be using it. Maybe during boss battles or whatever, but the downfall of the Bigoron Sword, despite having a longer reach and insane what? damage output, is that you can't really use your shield with it on. I mean, you can put it away and use your shield like that, but while you're actually using it, you can't, like, pull out your sick shield and be a-okay. Oops. Okay, that probably wasn't very smart. Uh, so, example. Come on. One hit. One hit. Not even a jump attack. Just one simple, normal hit. Uh, technically, there is another way that you can get a, like, a big Goron sword. It won't be a big Goron sword, but it's big Goron sword. But if you go into Goron City, there is another swordsmith, and that's the one that he was talking about before. His sword will break really easily. Big Goron sword will not break. So you can hit it on anything you want to, make a ton of noise, do this, and it will stay with you for the rest of the game. And it's super, super, super useful, super strong, and if you're confident in your abilities without needing to use the, the shield all that much, then uh, you're pretty much set. You're, you're not going to, like struggle at all after you get this sword. It, it's pretty, it is pretty great, and that's why I said that it probably is super, super helpful early game. Early game, it is very, very nice to have, especially when you don't have, like, many hearts, but it still is useful late game, and we might be using it occasionally, but I don't know about how much. We shall see, but that is for another time. I think we have done enough for one episode and next time we'll take care of one more side thing and then it's off to main story business i want my kakariko theme back please please i miss the song it made me happy very happy let say it isn't happy anymore anyway i will see you guys next time Messina out!